If we apply this ratio on Earth, we'll find out that the golden point of the globe is the city of Mecca. Whereas the golden point of Mecca is Holy Kaaba. So because it's the golden point of the globe, it is the strongest energetic field on Earth. for understanding how the golden mean provides an energetic field, you can take the example of the galaxies or plants which emits the energy from the center point to the outer ages. Just like a nuclear which balances the energy system with the electrons which are rotating around it. It means they are taking the negative energies and giving the positive energies for a balancing purpose. وبالتالي عندما تطوف أنت تشحن معلش سبحان الله أيها هذه حقيقة Now the investigations show that every day our body collects electromagnetic charges from its surrounding which are harmful for us. And these charges concentrate to the forehead meaning the frontal lobe of the brain which causes depression, headache, laziness, mental pressure and even more dangerous problems. This forehead part of the brain is known as the frontal chakra throughout which the body takes positive and negative energy. It is observed that these harmful charges can be released by putting our head down on the ground. But for a better result, we should put the frontal chakra of our body in a direction towards the strongest energetic field of the earth, meaning the Kaaba. Dr. Andrew Newsberg studied the brainwave activity during the prayer. He found some direct impact on several brain locations. The benefits of prayer are incredible. Regular daily prayer helps the frontal lobe from shrinking with age, which is the part of the brain that regulates our speaking, reading and memory. Therefore, this helps to prevent memory loss in old ages, a perfect form of meditation which brings us to a state of tranquility. <laughs> هذا كلام حقيقي أقدم الصخور أيوة. وهذا أثبت علميا أثبت علميا وبحث منشور وليس أخذ يعني صخور بازلتية من مكة بازلتية من مكة وشافوا المناطق اللي بتكون لنا الأمر أنه المتحف البريطاني فيه ثلاث شرايح من الحجر الأسود وقالوا هذا الحجر ليس من صخور المجموعة الشمسية آه. The latitude of the coordinates of Kaaba is 21 degrees and 25 minutes. The first verse that describes Kaaba is the verse 225. Could this mathematic harmony be a simple coincidence? The possibility of numbers depicted in the Quran with order number 114 rising until verse 286, which describe the Kaaba for the first time as a chance of one in 100,000 for them to appear next to each other. Surah 2, verse 125. The part of the coordinates after the comma can be described in the form of minutes as well as in ratios of percentages. In order to handle the upcoming objections, when we look at the coordinates of Kaaba by changing them to percentage ratios, we come across the following verse. Surah 2, verse 142. Hence, no matter how we look at it, there is a sign in the verses that point to Kaaba, and this could only be possible with the wisdom of God.
Although there are scientific facts behind every command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the Muslims should obey them without any reasoning. Because there is always a wisdom behind any order of the Creator that people cannot easily unlock the secret. But for us, it is important to seek the satisfaction of our Creator. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss any update.